RTC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. Today I'd like to do a brief demonstration of using the PowerPoint online app and once again I'm logged into my EIU Office 365 account with my demo credentials. So first thing I will do is scroll down to the start screen and you'll see the PowerPoint online app icon. Just simply click on that that will open up PowerPoint online. So we're operating in the cloud now. We do not have to have PowerPoint installed on this local computer. We're 100% online. So it should look familiar. We have the familiar ribbon interface again with the different categories across the top. 90% of the time you'll stay in the home tab. So let me just come out here and quickly type in my title for my presentation today. We'll just call it PowerPoint online click down into the second box and put in the author would be myself and then I almost always like to put the date on there so today is October 14th 2014 because change very, things change very quickly in the ed tech world so I always like to have a date to see how fresh this is so this is today's content unless you're listening in the future so we've got our main PowerPoint slide done let's go up and we'll see the new insert new slide button Part of the home tab here so I'm finished with my title slide let's do do the title and content slide as the next one so we'll say add slide and we'll come out here and say uh, office 365 online apps and today we'll be featuring PowerPoint But yesterday we did Excel, and we also did, uh, the day before that, we did Word. And then yet to be covered in this blog series is OneNote, but that will be coming in a future episode. So we've got our four main bullet points here. Now let's say I want to come up and insert a picture. So I'm going to go over to my Insert menu, choose Picture. Let's go down to My Pictures, and I uh, this is off of my PC, my local PC. So let me just choose the four online apps. This is a snapshot that I did earlier. We'll open that up, and we can place that anywhere on this slide. Let's make it a little bit larger. So right there are the four main apps. Now, I also said that I like to get in the habit of renaming the file. So I'll come up to my title bar here. It says presentation. That's just the generic file name. Let's backspace that out of here. And we want to rename the file. So let's get rid of that and we'll call this PowerPoint Online Presentation. And then once again, 10, 14, 2014. That's just a system I have so I know uh, the date that this file was created. I know it puts a date and time stamp on it, but this kind of helps me keep things uh, straight. Once I'm finished renaming it up in the title bar, I can click anywhere on the slide and I've changed the name uh, up here at top. Now remember, uh, I don't have to save this. Word Online or PowerPoint Online automatically saves things as I type uh, new apps. So I simply have two slides now. So if I want to go out there um, and uh, see what this looks like, I can come over here to view and let's go to slideshow and it'll go out and starts up the viewer there's my first slide click takes me to my second slide so very very simple interface end of slideshow click to exit and I'm back to my edit mode now I do have a few things where I can go into the design mode do some of these uh, different different uh, patterns and things if I want to dress it up a little bit so I just simply selected that style and whenever I'm finished once again I don't have to save I'm going to click up on up on my username up here in this case my demo account that will take me back to OneDrive and you can see right here down at the bottom you can see I did a practice about seven minutes ago but this particular application or uh, file name about a minute ago now I do like to keep these organized by folder so I'm going to drag that file and place it up here in my academic year 2014-2015 folder just helps me organize my OneDrive there's going to be a lot of files and things out here so you can see some uh, different files so right there it is 
Now then, uh, I can click on this and I'll be in view mode. But let me go out. The other advantage of this is I can also do PowerPoints that I previously have made with the full PowerPoint application. So here's one uh, I did back in August. And this is a full-fledged PowerPoint. This is a fairly sophisticated one because it contains a video. I'm in view mode here. But it contains a video. It contains sound files. It provides uh, animations and so forth. Let me just... Uh, quickly click on this. You won't, I don't think you'll be able to hear this on the recording. We'll see. All right, so I'll pause that. I'll go down to my second slide, and you can see that I've got a sound file. This is a program called Office Mix, and this is um, a plug-in for PowerPoint that has a lot of use for educators. But I can come out here and just click, click, click and go through my various bullet points. I do have an associated voiceover with this, but I won't do that. Um, you can also go through, you can annotate. I'm just clicking through very quickly. I've got some annotations there that kind of left over. But you can also embed YouTube files. So this is just an embedded YouTube file. And Mirrorcast also does interactive polling, uh, but you have to upload it to the Microsoft servers. So I can submit that, and I've submitted my answer and then it takes me back to my contact information. Once again, to go back to OneDrive, just click on my name, and I'm back to my OneDrive, and you can see uh, those. So that's, in a, in a nutshell, is PowerPoint. If I want to go in here and edit that, remember, just like Excel and just like Word, it automatically takes me into view mode. Great, because I can just provide a link to my students, and they can view this and click through the slide presentation. But say I made a mistake, I can go in here and edit in PowerPoint online. can also do co-authoring if I share this document. And let's say that I want to come down through here, double click on this. Well, let me go back to my design tab here. Let's say I changed my mind and I don't like the purple color. So I can come down here and change my style. And you can see that it does that. So very easy. I'm in edit mode. I could not have done that until I went into edit mode. So once again, we'll keep these fairly short. We'll leave it there. That is PowerPoint Online. To get back to the start screen of Office 365, if you click the logo in the upper left-hand corner, remember that will always take you back to the launch page.